Hello everybody, Terence Bowman here. How's everybody doing today? I am the guy who writes He Head on a Hat each and every week. Ish. And uh, this, as you can see, is my office where all the magic happens each and every week. Again, ish. And uh, today I'd like to talk to you about something um, that is incredibly interesting for me. Uh, one of the things I've been noticing over the last few years is... Uh, well, I'm kind of getting older, you know, you can see the hair, what's left, the graying, all of that. And uh, one of the things I've noticed also, among other things, a lot of things are going on in me, but one of the things that's going on in me is uh, I can't read stuff up close anymore. Like this little piece of paper with some notes on it for this vlog here. And I'm looking at this and like I can't, I can't read that at all. Like normally I used to be able to read it this close, but now I cannot. And now I have to hold it like way back here and do this squinting and looking and the thing and it gets really kind of dumb and sticky and stuff as I do that. So now what I find I need are reading glasses. So now it's, ah, look at that. Everything is completely clear for me now. Hmm, that is good. Now, for somebody with 20-20 vision like me, I've had 20-20 vision all my life, uh, you might think that this would be a big drag, suddenly having to wear glasses. Not so, because as an actor, as a performer, uh, one of the things that I love about the idea of having glasses is it opens up the whole new world, a whole new world of the craft of acting with glasses. In fact, I've actually kind of been waiting for this to happen my whole life, and uh, one of the things that is most fascinating about acting with glasses, uh, one of the things that I find most fascinating about it is the performances suddenly can kind of become about the glasses, you know? Uh, ever since I was a kid, I've been watching uh, actors in movies, TV, theater with glasses and what they do with the glasses and what the glasses bring to their performances. And, and it's really very, very fascinating stuff. And one of the key things that I have noticed uh, in acting with glasses is the glasses thing is it, it tends to be about when the glasses come off, when they go back on and when they come off. This is, this is a very key moment. Uh, usually taking off the glasses it represents some kind of shift, like some kind of shift in emotion or character or, 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 or intensity in the scene or, or something like that. You know, like you'll get, it's kind of cliched, but you'll get sort of the sudden kind of dramatic taking off of the glasses, you know. Steve, guys over 40 know what I just did there. Everybody else, look it up. You know, that really quick kind of sudden, I'm doing it very cliched here, but that kind of thing. Um, also, the more slow taking off of the glasses is a big one too, is that sort of, how long have you known this? That kind of thing. Um, or there's also, you know, the sort of my, one of my favorites is, is, is the kind of showing the exasperation and the pain of wearing glasses. Like you take them off, and then there's this rubbing of where they were. And it, oh my God, we could be talking about this all night. You realize that kind of thing, you know? That sort of. Oh. How many more forms do we have to fill out? Uh, putting the glasses back on is another big one. That's where, you know, the facade has kind of come down and it goes back up again. There's sort of a defensiveness that comes along with putting the glasses back on, you know? It, it's kind of like putting them back on. All right, well, thank you for coming in. Good day to you, sir, kind of thing. Also, looking over the glasses, that can be sort of a comedic and dramatic sort of moment, you know, like you're, you're reading this. And then you look down, well, it says here, Mr. Smith, that you owe me over $14,000. And that, sir, will be the plot device for the rest of this film. Kind of thing, sort of, you know, emphasizes the dramatic moment of that. And then, uh, of course, the withdrawal again. Hmm? Well, thank you very much for coming in, sir. See you. Thank you. I'm now looking, reading, doing things on the thing and not paying attention to you because I have withdrawn because I put my glasses back on. And I'm speaking a great deal of my subtext right now as well. 
uh, or another one is is this one in very typical comedic thing uh, is the geek putting the glasses back up. Uh, well, actually, in the first episode of Star Trek meets Planet of the Apes meets Superman, uh, there was no such show. Uh, and of course, I'm sticking it up like crazy here as you put the thing back up. This is kind of a big cliche. Um, what else do we have? Oh, throwing away the glasses. This is this is another one uh, of total exasperation of just the. <sighs> All right, what the hell are we gonna do? By the way, can you tell I've I've played a lot of cops in TV movies? I don't know if you may able to pick up on that. Um, sunglasses. Here's another big one. Sunglasses is a, is a whole other acting with glasses, sort of a, a sub craft of the craft of acting with glasses. And the beauty about sunglasses is you put them on and your eyes are gone. Now, for you know, in some ways, it's bad for acting because eyes are, are, are so important to an actor. But in other ways, you can just kind of stare straight ahead. And actually, you don't even need to be staring straight ahead. Like my eyeballs are going all over the place right now, and you can't tell because you can't see it. Because in TV and film acting, often um, eye line is really important where you're looking and where they cut to, and, and it's all technical stuff. But uh, you don't have to worry about that when you're wearing sunglasses. It's a beautiful thing. And you know, and you can just sort of you got the glasses on, and, and you're kind of like you're there. You know, you just sort of you can just kind of stare ahead and go, "Give me the Uzi nine millimeter." The sunglasses are doing ninety-five percent of my acting. That kind of thing. Also, looking down over the sunglasses, really dramatic, really super dramatic, slash comedic, often comedic, sort of, you know, looking like this, looking over, you know. Suddenly you see the eyes and they're impressed by something like this. The risky business as they call it, you know. Ooh, wow. That kind of thing. One of Tom Cruise's great contributions to the craft of acting with glasses is the risky business. One of the best, best uh, examples of acting with glasses I'm going to get to in a moment. But first of all, I want to talk about uh, David Caruso. Uh, who's on one of those CSI shows, and I, I don't know, I don't really watch the show, I don't know anything about those shows, I don't really know that much about him or imitate him or anything like that, but I do know the jokes, and I've seen the jokes, and uh, I know that he will look at like a dead body, say, and then make some kind of joke or pun on it as he puts his glasses back on, which is a great example of of putting sunglasses back on as sort of a character shifting moment, or in his case, it's kind of a character defining moment. You know, like, like he'll be looking at a dead body and, and he'll say, well, looks like this guy's dead. I guess he's no longer living. Pow! <laughs> or however that theme that they could use there from the who, however that goes kind of thing. Fill it in. Uh, another one of uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite acting with glasses moments, I, and I alluded to this before, has got to be Sam Neill in Jurassic Park. It's uh, fairly early on in the film, and he sees dinosaurs for the first time. And he's looking up at the dinosaurs, and he thinks, well, maybe I, my sunglasses are causing me to see dinosaurs that aren't there, so I'll take them off. So he's looking up at the dinosaurs, and then he starts taking the sunglasses off, and then part of the glasses gets caught on the other ear over here, which, I don't know, that can happen, I guess, I don't know. And what he does, and this is highly unconventional, I, I've... I've haven't really seen a lot of actors do this in the sunglasses or glasses taking off department. Uh, they bring in, he brings in his second hand. The second hand comes in and grabs the other part of the glasses and then brings them down in a two-handed glass taking off technique that is not in any way contrived and is completely natural. So, you know, he's looking up, dinosaur, his thing gets caught, second hand down like this, completely natural and uncontrived movement. And this is... This redefines the craft. This is one of the great acting with glasses redefining moments of the entire craft. And uh, perhaps I am overstating that a little bit. Perhaps. Small amount overstatement. Maybe. Anyways, thank you for joining me on He Had a, on a Hat, the first blog of He Had on a Hat. And uh, 
that's acting for glasses thank you for reading thank you for watching i will see you out there in blog land and uh just like to thank everybody once again for reading he had on a hacked now the turning it off part